Hello everyone, I'm Utkarsh and in this video I'll be talking about a recent work published from our lab at EMBO Journal entitled Metabolic Rewiring of Macrophages by Epidermis Derived Lactate Promotes Sterile Inflammation in the Marine Skin. We essentially work with skin as a model system which anatomically comprises of two layers, the outer layer called the epidermis and an inner layer called the dermis. Interestingly, one of the earliest immune cells that get recruited into the skin are known as macrophages. In the previous work, we have shown that under chronic inflammatory conditions in the skin, these macrophages get chronically active and this in turn promotes disease conditions. Hence, we next aim to identify the mechanisms that causes this phenomena. In this study, we have shown that in inflammatory conditions in the skin, the epidermal compartment enhances dependence on a metabolic pathway called glycolysis. And this in turn leads to enhanced accumulation of a metabolite called lactate. We further show that this metabolic state change in the epidermis is due to enhanced activation of a transcription factor called HIF1 alpha, which in turn gets activated due to reactive oxygen species that are generated as a result of damage. The lactate that is generated as an end product of glycolysis is eventually exported using a transporter called MCT4, which is short for monocarboxylic acid transporter 4. The lactate in the dermis is eventually imported by the dermal macrophages. And the transporter used for this transport is called MCT1. Now, once inside the macrophages, the lactate performs two functions. One, it activates the TCA cycle and drives it. And second, it activates NF-kappa B signaling, which is responsible for the inflammatory nature of these cells. Furthermore, we have shown that if you were to block reactive oxygen species using n acetylcysteine if on alpha using ketomine, glycolysis using 2-deoxy-D-glucose, or MCT4 using cyrosyngopene, we are able to prevent the activation of the macrophages. Similarly, if you block MCT1 by AZD3965, or TCA cycle using pyromyletic acid, or NF-kappa B using B11, we see the same kind of reaction. So to conclude, our work shows that during inflammation in the skin, the epidermis depends on glycolysis and macrophages depend on the TCA cycle. Hence, there is a compartment separation of glycolysis and TCA cycle during inflammation in the skin. We further show that this metabolic compartmentation is bridged by the metabolite lactate. And finally, we show that preventing the, this lactate-mediated crosstalk between the epidermis and the macrophages attenuates inflammation and psoriatic skin diseases by preventing macrophage activation. 